Why do we go through the trouble of learning about the vector equation of a line? Let us look at lines in three dimensions. In two dimensions, we can define the equation of a line using its gradient and y-intercept. In three dimensions, it is not so easy to define the gradient of a line. The line may also not intercept any of the coordinate x's, so we cannot utilize x, y, or z intercepts. However, we can bring over some of the vector concepts from two dimensions to three dimensions. Let's look at the vector equation of a line in three dimensions, where lambda is a real number. This represents a line passing through the point 3, 4, 1, represented by point A in the diagram, and parallel to the vector 2, 3, 6, represented by the vector B in the diagram. We can also express this vector equation as parametric equations and Cartesian equations. Firstly, we can write the position vector r as the column vector x, y, z. We can now see that the vector equation contains the relationships of the three variables x, y, and z to the parameter lambda, namely x equals 3 plus 2 lambda, y equals 4 plus 3 lambda, and z equals 1 plus 6 lambda. These are the parametric equations of the line. We can then make lambda the subject of each of these formulas, and equate them to give us the Cartesian equation x minus 3 divided by 2 equals y minus 4 divided by 3 equals z minus 1 divided by 6. Notice that the Cartesian equation of a line in three dimensions is an equality of three expressions instead of two. Now, let's see how the equations of a line in 3D look like in general. The vector equation of a line passing through the point a1, a2, a3, and parallel to the direction vector b1, b2, b3, is this. Converting the position vector r gives us the general form of the parametric equations of the line. Finally, we make lambda the subject of each of these formulas and equate them together to obtain the Cartesian equation of the line in three dimensions. These are all equivalent forms of equations to describe the same straight line in three-dimensional space.